Y'all, what is up, everybody? Listen to that sound. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but that is the sound of wind going through the lines. <laughs> and I'm wearing a jacket. So first time I've worn a jacket in a little bit, but hey, guess what? That's a sign of some great fishing and for big fish. I'm gonna try to get out in the bay, try to find some redfish. So I know you don't like to hear a bunch of yapping, so let's get out there and get to fishing. some really big blow-ups over here I think it's what we're after oh yo they're all over it come on redfish <clears throat> Dude, there's a giant school of redfish. Oh, oh I'm not. I'm, yo, did y'all see that giant school of reds? Oh, it is. Got it. Oh, full red on. Full red on. <laughs> that is awesome. I've been trying at it for about an hour. Oh, heck yeah, y'all. Mm. Gotta keep that line tight because I don't know how he's hooked on these singles. Oh, man, that's a good one. <laughs> this is awesome. This, this is what I look forward to in the winter. There's two of them with it. See the hanging big schools. Come on, buddy. Let's get you up. That's a good one, y'all. Hopefully I can get it landed for you and show you. Mm. That was awesome. Whew, come on. Powerful fish. Very powerful fish. Oh, I see my lure in his mouth. He's hooked decent. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Beautiful bull red. Wintertime bull. See if I can get him on the side of my net. Come on, come on. Man, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Y'all probably didn't see that well. But what a nice fish. Yes, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, don't get my camera dirty. Y'all, that is a redfish if I've ever seen one. What a nice, nice golden wintertime redfish. I wanna get those single hooks out of them and get them back. Let's get that popper out of his mouth. All right, popper's out. He was hooked good, but the single hooks make releasing it very, very nice. <laughs> so let's get this big old redfish down. I brought it in pretty quick. That's a good thing. <clears throat> So it's not too worn out. Come on. All right. It wants to go. Look at that golden color on it. Wow. We're just going to let it regain its strength. And she gone. Thank you, Lord, for putting you there. And thank you for biting that hook. Man, that was awesome. I was getting discouraged for a second because I hadn't seen them in a while. But then I saw a bunch of blow ups. Went to it, boom, got one on the popper. Let me show you what I was using real quick. This is a Chug Norris popper. This is the 120 made by Nomad. They're an Australian company. Have some really cool patterns. I'm not endorsed or paid by them at the time of making this video, but I do enjoy using them. They already come with single hooks. That redfish was hooked nicely in the top of its mouth. And I was able to get that hook out quickly to get it back. I am running a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader, about 12 inches of it coming to a black barrel swivel and 40 pound braid. Now my setup is a 5,000 size reel and a seven and a half foot heavy power spinning rod. Let's see if there's any more out there. That was fun. Hopefully y'all can see the fight pretty good. How to put some pressure on them. You don't want them to wear out too bad, especially when I release these big ones. See if there's any more. Get them on top in the middle of November. That is so cool. Mm. 
Now, I don't see any more redfish schools, and I do want to go try something else real quick. So, I just want to do a rundown of the conditions for today. So, bright bluebird skies with a northeastern wind shifting more east this afternoon. And 64 degrees surface water temperature. And we're fishing at about 14 to 20 feet of water. And just looking for bait schools and birds and blow ups on top. So, I'm going to move to another spot, and I'll see you there in a bit. <laughs> on the popper on the popper if that's a cell cat again i'm gonna be crazy that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy no what is that so it's a cell cat and i think there's a shark chasing underneath it that was kind of creepy that's a hefty cell cat y'all look at that and this thing has single hooks so real easy to get out man we could have a cell cat dinner and there he goes single hooks like i said real easy to get out of them that's what i like not what i'm wanting right now but it's still fun so i didn't see any more redfish someone dropped down one of my hand painted jigs it's just a little jigging spoon i paint them myself put them together myself they're a limited edition on the website i only have a few but let's drop this down on some 20 pound fluoro and see if we can find us something neat hanging around it's pretty deep right here you never know what you're going to catch switch it let it fall it's a very easy jig to work we just had a hit oh first fish first drop man that did not take long at all <laughs> that is awesome i love catching stuff on lures that you make yourself there's a little red snapper so these uh will poke the heck out of your hands ain't gonna get the screen all wet but look at that the sharp four extra strong hooks come out pretty good there you go first drop on the new jig so i'm going to drop this back down and see what else we can jig up here we go and this one i'm using is a one ounce so you can throw it on your inshore setups i like using a fast action rod for these let it fall to the bottom oh instant <laughs> oh he came off he came off oh man that was cool oh nope still on he grabbed it again what is that <laughs> okay that's a hard tail so we don't want him he'd make pretty good bait but i'm gonna let you go there you go back down it goes oh <laughs> like i was saying they hit it on that fall Ugh. okay this is cool you know it's nothing crazy but it is a variety this is a little ruby red lips or tom tate you can't eat them they're great amberjack and big grouper bait but look at that that's why they call them ruby red thank you buddy there you go all right what a crazy variety with that jig and it's made by me it's such a cool feeling catching stuff that you make yourself here we go again let's see what else we get still on there thought it came off for a second what are you okay these aren't giants, but it is a variety, and I just want to show you. Here's a pig fish, otherwise known as a grunt. Ah, he's not going to grunt for you today. <laughs> there he goes. He's like, put me back, man. So these are really pretty fish, in my opinion. They have real good colors. You can use them as bait. You can also eat them. Let's throw it back. But here we go. That's another species for the jig. Mm, there it is oh man this one's digging down good yeah i don't know what that's going to be but it's got some nice weight to it for an inshore rod oh man it's a pretty red snapper right there this one would be a keeper but i can't keep them right now because it's not a day that i can keep snapper so there we go pretty fish right there let's let it go before it poked me man that's fun kind of hoping to find a grouper but i'll take that those are fun to pull if you don't like catching fish no matter what it is probably should try a different sport i i have fun catching a fish is a fish no matter what so i'm gonna drop this jig down again oh yeah we're getting good marks
Yep. Mm, come on. Get up. <laughs> Look at that rod bending down. Heck yeah. These are a little bit better here. What are you? Oh man. I foul hooked it. <laughs> That's why I was fighting hard. I'm sorry, buddy. But that is another species today. That's a mangrove snapper. Check it out. I can keep him. He's not long enough though. But let's throw it back. It's another snapper species. There we go. He fought a little bit harder because he was foul hooked. <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. The amount of stuff that you can catch on a jig is crazy. And this is a medium heavy seven foot rod with only 20 pound braid and a 4,000 size reel. Look. Oh. <laughs> What's up? Hey. Oh, he thinks I have a fish. I'm. Wow. Trying to get a fish, huh? That is cool. He came right up to me. Look, I'm just putting my hand there. I'm not trying to touch it or anything. That's a big dolphin. They're kind of scary up close. <laughs> he thinks I have something for him. And I don't. What you doing, huh? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he just smiled at the camera and tried to bite it. Did y'all just see that? I hope that captured it on film. <laughs> I'm gonna, that was funny. Y'all, I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but I hope so. That, I don't know if the dolphin thought I was feeding it or something. Oh, he tried to come up and bite the camera. Hey, buddy. Oh, now I'm kind of afraid of you. What? I wonder if it... That's crazy. What? See, you're not supposed to pet them or touch them because it's... Oh, oh, man. Half of his tail is missing. Oh, that's sad. He must have got hit by a boat or something. What? Did you get hit by a boat? You did? Wow. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but half of its tail's gone. Could be a birth defect, but most likely it got hit by something. That's sad. I'm not feeding it or anything. It's just hanging around. Now I'm kind of nervous of it. That's going to come up and... What? Huh? Well, I hope I'm not boring y'all with this, but it's not every day you can come up and see one of these. It just came up to my boat. I pulled up the trolling motor. See, I have no food. I'm not giving any fish. I'm not feeding it. And my motor's off. I guess it thinks I'm trying to. What's up, buddy? You're making me nervous because last time you tried to bite the camera. <laughs> You're so cool. Thanks for giving us a show. Wonder what his name is. Y'all, that was pretty cool. I was getting ready to leave. And the old bottlenose dolphin come up to say, hey, he was missing half a tail, which it happens. That's a that's a shame. But it happens. But it was still pretty happy, and I guess it was wanting my fish, which I didn't have any to give it anyway, and I wouldn't. You're not supposed to feed them. But I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. That was really cool being able to get out there and catch it some big fish and then the variety of fish that we caught. There's a lot of new subscribers. Y'all go comment down below where you're watching from, whether you're a new subscriber or a current subscriber. We'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I wanna thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. So we'll see you later.